Good afternoon, everybody watching this video. I'm very angry right now. And I want to quickly address something I stumbled into a few minutes ago. My name is Blessed Jat, the Global Youth Ambassador on Sustainable Development. I watched with outer dismay. The current Minister of Transportation wrote to me, Amechi, while addressing Channels TV, and he proposited that there is nothing wrong with Nigerians ceding her sovereignty to China. For those of you who may not understand the implication of uh, ceding your sovereignty to another country or what it means to cede your sovereignty, the current state system which we have right now came into being by the Treaty of Westphalia in 1648. We are states were created, and by that treaty, by that agreement, all states became equal with the ability to control their internal affairs without interference or without recognizing any higher authority or higher power. Now, that has been the principle since 1948. But in the last few years, in the couple of decades, we have seen China recklessly pursuing recolonization and supremacy policy in Africa and in the rest of the third world, where they give frivolous loans to gullible African countries with greedy leaders with provisions in this loan agreement that are very mockery and disheartening. And then when these countries are not able to pay back, China enter into this country and seize whatever asset that they deem fit. Now, currently we have several African countries where China is in charge of their police, in charge of their central bank, in charge of their immigration, in charge of the agricultural sector, etc., etc. And then in Nigeria, we have been looking and watching at their antecedents for a very long time. The kind of loans that they deal to Nigeria. And a lot of us have often questioned, what are the provisions of this loan? Until only just now, we hear the Minister of Transportation saying, let me quote him word for word. I just learned that there, is pro there are provisions in that agreement which allow China to enter into Nigeria and claim whatever interest they deem fit in the case of Nigeria inability to repay this loan. And he continued by saying, and I know fully well that China only go after those assets that they built. What a stupid assertion. Very uneducated assertion. China, the country that China is in charge of their police, China did not give them money to build their police. He gave them money to build infrastructure which they are not able to pay. And at the end of the day, China is now in charge of their central bank and their police. And you are telling us that there is a provision in the agreement with China which allowed China to come into Nigeria and demand whatever asset that they deem fit if Nigeria is not able to pay. Let me also help those of you watching to understand my anger. There's what we call sabotage and espionage in international relations with a large number of unaccounted Chinese in Nigeria. In practically every part of Nigeria, it is very easy to sabotage Nigerian assets in such a way that the facilities that are built with this frivolous loan, Nigeria will even be unable to pay back so that China can enter Nigeria and claim whichever asset which they deem fit. That is my worry. Now, when we have a group of political leaders who are certificate forgers, who do not know what it means to genuinely go through the university, and they look at the rest of us that suffered to go through school, and they make us look stupid. They make education look very useless. Rotemi Amechi is claimed to have graduated from the University of Port Harcourt, and he studied English and literature. What did Rotemi Amechi know about international relations? For you to tell Nigeria that there is nothing wrong with ceding our sovereignty to China. I'll tell you what these politicians are doing. In order to score cheap political points, may they say with a walk, you are mortgaging the future 
of unborn children just to score political point now look at another very stupid statement that the minister made the house of reps should tell us how we will get the money to build this facility if we don't collect this loan are you kidding me where are all the loot that are being recovered where are all the oils you people are selling where are all the for god's sake where are the billions nigerians are stealing and you are telling me where we nigeria a country as rich as nigeria where we are going to get money to build ordinary rail line ordinary that a private citizen can build you people think we are stupid the truth is people at rotemi amechi should be leashed on the streets for the damage they are creating to our collective future these people it is time we stand up and stop them because they are selling our future and selling it to a reckless country that have no regard for international law like China. Nigerian youth, it is time we wake up. If we don't wake up and demand and take back this future, nobody will take it back from us. You are seeding. First of all, let me even ask, who read that this agreement they are signing with China? I learned fully well most of this agreement are written in Chinese. And our useless politicians just carry it because you like paparazzi and you like the media form fair. You sign this agreement. Imagine a loan that has been collected. It is only just now the Minister of Transportation is realizing that there is a clause that demands that China can reclaim any asset they so demand. Nigerians, our mumu don't do. If you are not angry, I am angry. Politicians have taken us for a fool for too long. It is time we rise up and show these people that this book we read, it is not a waste of time. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I'm so angry, but thank you. I'm angry. Politicians have taken us for a fool for too long. It is time we rise up and show these people that this book we read, it is not a waste of time. Thank you for watching. Thank you. I'm so angry, but thank you.